This video is about uh, my five scripts in After Effects that will make your life easier in After Effects while editing. You will edit 10 times faster. This video will be unusual, like I don't have script and it won't be direct. I will yap a little in this video. So if you don't like it, just you can go to the description and download the script that I put. It. So let's go to After Effects. So the first script we have here, I already talked about this script in the last video I made, which is flow script, it's about graphs and I'll put the explanation of this script from the past video because I'm too lazy to repeat what I said and I forgot what I said and I don't know how to explain it again. But yeah, spare me. It allows you to make graphs easily and apply them to your keyframes or even copy graphs from your animation, paste it to another animation or even save it for later so you don't need to make the same graph that you want every time you make animation. Yeah. This is pretty much the script. You're an After Effects user and you don't use this script, you're just retarded, man. Can you edit without this script? Like, it literally saves you a lot of time. But don't rely on it 100%. You'll still need to make your graphs in the graph editor in some situations for more accuracy. This just will save you. You have graph, you know that always will work. You can save it here and use it every time, so you don't need to make it every time. That's it. The add nulls graph. Well, this... Uh, I'm brain rotted, okay? The... Anyway, it doesn't matter. Well, this script is odd nulls. Simply, when you have a clip... Wait, I need to set up the scene. Wait, wait, wait. So, when you have this clip, like your clip, a uh, pre-composed clip, and you want to add the uh, nulls, you usually add nulls by like adding nulls from new, then add the... Uh, where no objects okay then you will match your pre-compose with a null we can control the your clip from the null this simply will add you a null and already matched with the pre-compose when you make animation like make sure to overlap the keyframes so there is no stop motion because when there is stop motion will kill the retention span of the viewer you don't want that when editing or just overlap the keyframes and don't make any stops in animations yeah the third script is easy tools it allows you to control the anchor points first you select the, your pre-compose and control the anchor point put it on any corner from here or put it in the center of pre-compose or you can duplicate the clip or split the clip or delete pre-compose Clip. this bring the clip in or out and yeah there is a lot of things here and here it allows you to move forward with with a specific number of frames and it allows you to add effects like fill or tint or blur or glow ramp and curves with only one click so yeah you can add the nulls also adjustment layer camera all with one click from just here in this script the fourth script we have here is uh, uh, organizer well from its name it will organize your project like so you press clean up here and it will organize your project from comps footages and solids yeah it's cool the fifth script we have is 3d extruder put your layer into 3d like turn it into 3d so you can control it in a 3d space you can control also the depth of the layer let me get a png quick so let's say we have this png here and then you choose your depth of the layer and press extrude it will simply make your layer 3d it also gives you a no match with the layer so you can control your 3d the layer from the null here like you can rotate it in 3d yeah you can do something like this the script i have here is also essential like instead of going into your uh, presets and effects and presets panel and search for the effect you want you can just press on your layer and press the shortcut you can search just here from here the effect you want let's say tint maybe upload, yeah you can just select the layer and search for the name of the effect automatically will be applied to your layer here as you can see you can control the shortcut of uh, this the base shortcut of, of showing this is with control plus space but my custom shortcut is alt plus x it helps me better than control plus space <laughs> custom your own shortcut or just leave it on the base shortcut which is control plus space you can also control if it's light or dark theme and here you can put presets or if already effects for when you when you open the script which is fx console you will find the presets here like numbers wait i'll add some effects and show you oh yeah here i added tint effect you see here when i add the tint effect it showed here and when i press like i open the fx console and then press one it will be automatically added also search for 
fix or take even screenshot of the current frame and go here and you'll see the, the frame that you took screenshot of it and you can export it to your desktop yes, this is pretty much what I have scripts to show you they are the most scripts that I use and like I usually always use they saves me a lot of time while editing and it will save you a lot of time while editing too so use them don't be don't waste your time on something best script can do with one click but yeah and if there is any scripts I'll put them also in the description thanks for watching